the break, MattyVision.com. Thank you, Christian Bale, for stopping by. I'm Batman. I am Mad Maddie the Moose, asked by CEO of Maddie Vision Counter Girl to stop by to give these two nutters raising. I am the host of the Egg Shape Fall. That's Herbal Sharp Oi and Welsh for you, Doctor. This guy right here, he's supposed to be a doctor. But he did some stitches on my leg. He's not really a doctor. And that brilliant, beautiful man right there. <coughs> Was I talking? You are. You Who know. told you to interrupt? That brilliant, beautiful man right there is Muggsy McLovin, ladies and gentlemen. This is a little show called The Sports Report. We talk about all the big Yankee stories. This guy talks to pros and this guy talks to youths. All them youths. The youths. Nice, yes. It's nice to meet you, Moose. Yes. Big fan yeah. of the sports report I am here. When do we talk rugby? Uh, I don't know. We don't. We Maybe talk, next we, rugby sevens when, yeah. and, uh, when they actually come to America and do something. Yeah. That we, we next, watch. you don't talk rugby. Yeah, what are we sure. talking then? Uh, who does? Well, I seen the show. This is what happens. Oh, right the judge. Does he interrupt Ryan. you the whole time? Yes, he. Yeah. Yes, he does. This he's, is the problem. He's a, yes, he is a constantly in contempt, ladies and gentlemen. Because when Counter Girl asked me to stop by, she said that the DJ was the problem. The DJ was the problem. But I'm starting to see the light here. Blinded by the light. Someone's a team player here. Right? So here's what we do. We go, all rise. Here come the judge. Here come the judge. The mugs. Okay. October 18th, Moose. What, what, did, what is today, Moose? October 18th. Today is Counter Girl and the world famous Maddie's anniversary. Cheers, guys. Cheers, man. Cheers. Congratulations. Uh, 15 years, right? 15 years. Big 15. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> we talk the local sports in Northeastern Pennsylvania. The Utes! How do you like Northeast PA, Moose? There's a lot of weird people around here. A lot like whales, right? Very similar. Come to the Albeth. Anyway, uh,. We talk all the local American sports around here. We're going to start today with cross country. We, they run in cross country. In high school, it's 3.1 miles, 5 kilometers. Yep, that's a 4. <laughs> not a 3 or a 1. Okay. Anyway, uh, we are coming up on the District 2 championships in cross country. They will be happening at Elk Lake High School. You ever been to Elk Lake? I've been to a lake. I've been to Moose Lake! <laughs> yes, yes. Coming up October 24th at Elk Lake High School. It's the, what happens at Cost Country, it was usually it used to be two divisions, uh, class AAA and class AA, but now this year they added class single A for the smaller schools for their own their own uh, for their own uh, championship. This year, so we have three classes, both girls and boys will be running. It starts at 11.40 a.m. with girls triple A, and it goes right through to 3 o'clock when boys single A takes the course. And we will be crowning, in single A and double A, we'll be crowning two team champions, and then the next 10 best individual champions to go to, to the state meet uh, the first weekend in November in Hershey and in triple A. It's the top team, and then the five best finishers after that. They give you a free chocolate bar? Yeah. I'm pretty sure they do. Hershey makes good chocolate bars. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, famous Matty is born and bred in Hershey, I believe. I, he, was, yeah. he grew up there. He, he was up there. He was born in Jersey. He was born in Jersey. Born in uh, Jersey. I would never have known. I would never know. He was a Jersey man. Jersey man. Jersey. He doesn't know much. He's a Jersey guy. <laughs> Clearly. In any event, uh, well, the, that's the individual we helped. The Lackawanna League also concluded its season this week. Scranton Prep on the boys took the took the league title, and Abby Knights on the girls' side took the championship there. I believe they were both perfect on the year. So, Mr. Ab perfect. Mr. and Miss Perfect. And we got to talk Miss in high school, right? Miss. Miss. All right. Uh, you missed your line. Yes, uh, I didn't get a script. Right. Th there is no script. I just, I just go about my business. Did Matt and Maddie the Moose run cross country in high school? Not in Hershey? Hershey it looked like I run. Uh, how run. about, uh, maybe maybe this sport will get I ran, you. Uh, I ran the rugger field, I'll tell you that. Uh, maybe this sport will grab you, Moose. Uh, did, were, were you a golfer? No. 
But I know the golfer. I know a golfer. Egbert's a golfer. So it was Big Rich. Big right? Rich, yes. Big Rich is the guy who works the counter while we film the show. Yes, sir. Anyway, uh, like I said, uh, we're talk now we're gonna talk some golf. We All had, right. We we uh we did some individual and some team championships over the week over the past week. We're gonna start straight prep uh, on top of winning their district two championship in the team. They advanced to a regional match against Shikalami at a district four. Shikalami. Yeah, out in, out in the central PA. Shikalami. Scrape Prep won that. They beat Shikalimi in the sub-regional 304 to 351. What the hell it, kind of sport is that? It's a sport where the low score wins. Wow. I did not know that. I never heard that about golf. It's crazy. 304. Crazy things you learn on the show. Well, say, that's, say, that's, the same, that's the same thing that happens across country. Whoever runs, you take the five best finishers across country. So, like, say... You're, say like I'm first, you're second, you're third. He's got to be first, of course, right? He's yeah. number two. <laughs> yeah. The middle child, always forgotten. So, so if they say somebody else was seventh and somebody else was tenth, you add up those scores, one, two, three, plus, se plus seven, plus ten, that's your team score, and then the low score wins. A lot of math. Yeah. A lot of numbers we, there. I don't know. Could you do math? Yeah. Anyway, uh, like I said, straight prep. They're they advancing to the team championships next week at Heritage Hills Golf Country Club in York, also near Hershey. Heritage Hills. And also individuals. We had the Eastern Regional Championships in Fleetwood earlier this week. Fleetwood back. Uh, and uh, out of those, out of those, we we sent six local golfers to the individual championships coming next week. We start with Holy Cross. Selena Sarah was the double-A champion in the girls. Won, won that by four shots. That's, that's two. Two, three. It's getting close. It's up there. Yep. Anyway, she won the double-A. She's going to be joined by her teammate, Emily Okrepke. Okrepke. Okrepke, yep. Okrepke. Uh, Rugby? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Also, we, there are four other golfers. We had from Juan Palpac, Julia Santo, Julie Santo. From Lakeland, we have Mike Thomas. From Abington Heights, Anthony Sebastianelli. And our and our old friend here at the Sports Report from Strand Prep, Chris Sermirano. Sermirano! The Jackman winner, and he's going to the state meet as well. The Hugh Jackman Wolverine Award. Yep, and it, the, indivi the individuals is two days. It'll be Monday and Tuesday. At also at Heritage Hills Golf Club in New York. Heritage Hills. Yeah. And, um, and how about we go to tennis? You ever play tennis? Tennis, I play tennis. Never played tennis. You, you should take some point. Uh, Andy Murray's pretty good out, out in, in uh, Andy Murray played center field for the Baltimore Orioles. I know that. Right? Yeah. Andy Murray, Andy Murray. Yeah. Uh, it is what it is. <laughs> That's what it is. Yeah. How about uh, we also there was. Sister Kendra. Yep. Also a good cook. Yes. Also. They defeated the Valley View pair of Amber Jadis and Carly Young. 6-0, 6-1 in the final match. Now, they, those two girls 
Crocker and Riley had five matches in the District B. They lost five games. Five games. Five straight set wins, five games they lost. That means it's an average of one game a match, right? Exactly. Someone knows math here. Yeah. Somebody at least. And yeah, they were also... Five games they lost. And those two girls were also key components of the, the team champion victory for, for Scranton Prep as they beat Wyoming Seminary later in the week for the double-A team championship, three to two. Now, those two girls did not, they actually competed both in singles, but didn't win their matches, so it came down, it, they, they needed their other girls to step up. Emily Johnson in singles, Anna Tressler and Kathleen Comerford in the double, one doubles match and the other doubles match, Sophia Rinaldi and Amelia Jacobac. Jacobac! Yeah. Jacobac! Sounds like a good band name. And Lorraine Jacobac! Oh, uh, thank you. And Scranton Prep, they they're advancing to the to the state tournament. They will be at the they will be taking on the district four champion. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. No, you're good. Yeah, they will be taking on the district four champion on uh, te the twenty third, which is Tuesday. It's coming Tuesday. They win that, then they go to the they go to the next part of the state meet at Hershey Racket Club. Reese's Pieces are from Hershey, too. Yeah. Peanut but, butter, chocolate. And also in uh, AAA, we had Abbott tonight swept the doubles and team title as well as with their Scranton Prep Comadres. A lot of Scranton Prep here in the States. Yeah. Prep. P-R-E-P, -E Prep, Prep, Prep. It was, uh, in, in the doubles, it was the team of Allie Pusateri and Sierra Beck. They actually defeated the team from Williamsport because Williamsport always uh, interludes on our on our district for some reason because they don't have them any teams in, out there. So Williamsport's always coming into our business. It's interesting that a girl named Beck actually won because Beck is famous for a song named Loser. Remember that song? I'm a loser, baby, so why don't you kill me? Yeah, so those two girls won the doubles and then they then they took the team championship. They swept Crestwood. Three nothing. And they should. And to be fair, they won the th three three matches. The other two were halted when Abington knew that they won, but they were going to win those two matches as well. Crestwood, Crestwood. But he's got clean teeth in Crestwood. Yeah. And they will be they will be hosting the, the district three runner up on Tuesday to, to see if they win that. Then they then they go to Hershey for the state meet. All and the joys, Hershey. That's now, Hershey as well. maybe. State state championships for singles and doubles are November second and November third. For for that and then for the teams, if they go on, if Scrape Prep and Abington win their matches on Tuesday, then they go later in the week on Saturday, Friday and Saturday, Hershey Racket Club. Mm. And uh Pepper and, and Patties. Yeah. And Hungry. I think uh I think um uh, DJ Bugsy sent you an email about something. Yes, I, I'm here to report on West Scranton Sports. I can't report on the West Side Invaders because they're blue and big game this weekend. Never be a With blue. Big games all weekend. Never games. a blue. Scranton TV, Abby tonight. I'm Scranton. here to talk to you about the purple pride of West Side, the West Side Falcons. Yes, they are the youth program of the Invaders. For those that don't know. We're in the playoffs. We had the first round of the playoffs this weekend. What do you think happened, Doctor, since you seem to know everything? I'm going to guess. Guess. Edu an educated guess. Yes. I believe they won. Yeah. Guess what? They all won. Falcons, baby. Okay, what do we have here is the B team played first. They beat Valley View, the Valley's team. Valley. <laughs> Valley. I don't know, Valley's team. Uh, B team beat Valley View 40 to 12 on Saturday. Cheers to the B team. Then on Sunday, the rest played Wilkes Bar. Is that how you say it? Wilkes Bar? Wilkes Bear. Wilkes Bear. Wilkes the Wilkes Bear Bears. He's a bad man. Y'all a bunch of bad bums. And Tommy, Johnny, My Al Pacino. Oh. Can't say because we're talking about the Utes. On Sunday, the Falcons D team beat the Wilkes Bear. 13 to 7. Close one. The C team, you know what they've scored every week this year? 
U2's 40. See, so U2's Irish. That's a reference to Kenny Nags, right? They won 40 to 7. And the A team, the A team, which is the top of the U2's, won 44 to 7. That's Reggie over the Mick. Yep, yep, Reggie. Yeah. You like that. And they're on to the divisional championships this Saturday night under the lights up up the Carbondale. Carbondale. You know, up there, huh? Way up the Carbondale. I'm surprised a guy like you, uh, you, you, all your knowledge of rugby, you, you could understand New York Yankees baseball. Uh, hopefully there's no traffic on this Scranton Carbondale. Highway. Well, here in the United States, I understand you have NFL and you have the Yankees, right? He does a great American accent, though. Yeah. yeah. I am American. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That's why. I just, yeah, the long backstory. You can buy the book. This Saturday night up the Carbondale. You guys get out of control here. The D and the C team are playing Monroe. The B team is playing North Scranton. The bikes. Ooh. Your bells. I, I hear bells. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about, Boots. Keep the going. The D and the C are playing Monroe. The B is playing North Scranton. And A is playing the mighty, mighty Abingtones. Yes, good luck to the West Side Falcons football. We love you here in West Side. Stay purple. Back to you, Judge. You ready, Moose? This is, this is, yeah. this is my staple, Moose. Okay. You ready? Yes. All right, gang the babble. Get Gang the Babble. What happened was a few uh, months ago, he said Gang the Babble. He talks too much. We're going to take a break. And coming up after the break, this guy right here, you know what? I see in the future the, the Moose, the Dragon, and the Judge. I don't know about this guy. We'll be up after the break. MattyVision.com. We dream big. Americans won 3-1 to qualify for the World Cup in 2014. No, they the, they're not officially in the World Cup yet. They, they advanced. They one more, they have one more round of World Cup qualifying. I didn't know you Yanks like football. And if you're American, and, and you know, and you want to watch real football, I mean, not American football, soccer, learn the name Clint Dempsey, baby. Clint Dempsey. Yeah. Is that what you're talking about? He's our proudest no, player. No, 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 we're not. We're talking the oh, National that, Football oh, League. Oh, the wannabe rugby sport. The National Football League of America. Okay, I'll try to wing this. Go ahead. I try to wing it. Yeah. And we yeah. don't use balls like that because they're a little, it's a little 
more aerodynamic. I know you guys and they have can't play as We use actual pig skin for our football. You have to put pads and helmets yeah. on to get that. Yeah, we use actual pig skin. Which are used as weapons, by the way. Damn lawyers ruined your country's sports. Right. Right. Okay, we got Where are we up to here? I don't know. We're a little Predictions. off track, but that's okay. That, that's what we do here. Uh, but Arizona, what did you, you say last week about uh, the Jay Feely. Okay. J the, the NFL record for a field goal is 63 yards by a couple people. Now, Jay Feely ties the game against Buffalo with a 61-yard field goal. Then the Cardinals get the ball back and get in a field goal range for what? For a guy who just makes Free a 61-yard six, field goal, he attempts a 38-yarder, which should be a chip shot. Should and be he, a chip shot. And he clanks the upright. Nothing's a given in the NFL. They end up losing the game. Yeah. Minnesota also drops a tough loss to Washington. Looks like they could have put that game away there. They yeah, Minnesota, yeah. They're going to Minnesota. Both teams are 4-2 and two, uh, in it for the division lead this week. We'll yeah. see what happens. Who do you like? Uh, that's why we uh, predicted it here. Who's the, who's the home team? Minnesota's home. They're oh, home. the Homer Dome. Mm -hmm, the Homer Dome. The Metro Dome. Jared Allen's look pretty good this, this year. Yeah. You know what? I, I don't buy. I don't buy either of these teams. But somebody's. I think some. We, you could tie in the NFL, right? <laughs> yeah, you could. Uh, Wait, could you anymore? Yeah, you could. Okay. Even even with these strange overtime rules. So, so you're predicting a tie. Let's get that I, I want a tie because I don't really want to pick this game, but I'm gonna have. I have to go say Vikings. The Vi the Vikings never lose at home. I think Arizona's a little more talented. I think the Vikings are home, and that's a great advantage playing in that that dome. Yeah. So it is a coin flip. Yeah. My coin flip's gonna fall on the other side, and I'm going for Arizona. Oh. I like their young defense a little better. Skelton will Skelton will handle it. Yeah. You know. Does Prince still play for Minnesota? He doesn't. No. Uh, all right. Prince well, Fielder is a baseball player. No. That's what you're referring to. No. No. He's, he's, he's not talking purple about rain. Yes. No, no, we, this is a sports show. He's the opposite of sports. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, since Muggs picked Minnesota, I'm picking Minnesota. Okay. Yeah. I like this strategy there. Yeah. And, and we have a couple of great division battles too. Though. All right. Washington. Washington's playing the Giants. At the, the Giants. The RG3 show invades New York. His first division game. Yeah. That'll be good. Uh, yeah. The, so the footnote was that last year the Redskins swept the Giants, even though the Giants won the Super Bowl. They, they can't seem to figure out the Redskins. Can't seem to. Will they? If they're coming off a huge victory against the... They're both coming off a huge victory. The Redskins... Against the 49ers. Like when you play the Niners... Yeah, yeah Alex Smith. Alex Smith looked like the Alex Smith that I remember seeing. He did. And, that, and he, he wasn't good then, he wasn't good last week. It's like Alex but, Trebek. Back to the prediction. What is, what is the Redskins? Can RG three beat the Super Bowl champs at home or out away? Well, here's the here's the thing. RG three brings that added dimension. He, he, because the Giants are going to come at him with the with the rush of Pierre Paul and all those guys. But RG three showed he showed what he could do last week. He had 170 yards rushing. I think. like a 70 some yard rush. Uh, to I, to game ice there. the game. Yeah. yeah. He, uh, he's, the Redskins have been better than advertised. Uh, Pierre Garçon. Oh, oh. Oui, oui. Oui, oui. So you're going to Washington after you're trying uh, to say, or are you going to switch it out? Uh, I don't know. Tough one. This is a tough one. Well, well let, me, let me lead out. Yeah, I'm going can. Giants. Uh, just because RG3, it's going to be a hostile environment for them. Uh, Giants, Super Bowl champs, Eli Manning. Victor Cruz, Pierre Paul, you know. The and Brad, like Brad, you can't forget about Bradshaw. Uh, after he had 100 yards rushing against that 49ers. He team. never saw a pass rush like this. Who can just get rush four guys and they're going to be in his face. Never. Yeah. They're going to be up for this game. They lost two to him last year. Yeah. Two. Yeah. I, I hate to agree with the doctor, but I got to. Oh, I'm, I'm you going hate with the to agree with me. Thanks, my friend. I, I got to go that. with RG3, you said? RG3. Yeah. RG3, because he picked the Giants. I'm picking the Redskins. And one of Maddie's favorite teams. Uh, I don't know if Maddie told you when he talked to you, Mr. Moose. Uh, he's been he's been on the Jet bandwagon. He's one of the few. Oh, we know players. about the Jets. We love the Jets. The Jets. J e t s. They're Jets, going Jets, to Jets, Jets. New England to play the Patriots coming yeah. off a of bad loss. Boom! Yeah, yeah they're going to Counter Girl. Counter Girls. Tom Brady. For real, she'd be married to him for hundred years. He's so gonna be Counter Girl, but we didn't acquire the rights to her animation yet. Uh, maybe we will. 
Uh, One day. Rex yeah. Ryan actually said, we're going there and we're going to beat them. That, well, that, that was close to his quote. And well, Rex always Rex, says that. He always makes those kind of predictions. You don't know what what he's going to do. What He sniffs a lot of glue. Usually glued. when he pops off at the mouth like that, well, if the, it comes now, to fight him. Now, now to be fair, if the Jets play last week like they did, they don't have to make Mark Sanchez a scapegoat for losing. Yeah. The, the Jets could be in every game. And if New England plays like they did, and that loss to Seattle, which somebody on this panel predicted, I don't know who it was. Oh, it was me. Yeah. yeah. And if they play like that, they could be in a tough one. I think Tom Brady uh, will be. Tom Brady. Tom Brady and Belichick will have a third game plan for a division yeah, rival. Bra- yeah. Because everyone in that division is three Yeah, three. Belichick rarely loses two in a row. Yeah, he's a cheater. All right, Muggs. Spygate. Are you on the Belichick? Mm-hmm. Bandwagon here. Yeah. Yeah. Spygate. Yeah, that's what you were talking about, right? He cheats. 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 He, had a, he, had, he was a, he was guilty of Spygate all those years Cheater. ago. Cheater. That's yeah. it. Yeah. All right. That is why the J E T S Jets 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 will be in sole possession of first place that, I, this weekend. Yeah. You never know. They the the four way technically right now the Jets. Somebody will probably be in. Yeah, yeah technically right now it's a four way tie in the AFC East and the Jets own the tiebreaker. And they're, and they're all in first, but they're all also in last. Yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's a crazy game right now on the AFC. It hasn't happened this, this far crazy. in the year. It's a crazy game. Everybody's 3-3 three and three oh, for crazy. the most part. I'm, th- I'm thinking Patriots by yeah. 13 to 17 to 20. Who knows? I think they're going to yeah. win pretty comfortably. I say Patriots. Patriots. Jets. 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 And our last division matchup we're going to talk about going into Soldier Field, the Detroit Lions. Coming off a great year last year, they had a rough start to the year. Yeah, the but they came in and had a big comeback against yeah. the Philadelphia Eagles. By the way, we're on by this week. So by the way, I do it. have to say this: Juan Castillo fired one year too late. He was fired one year too late. I agree. Week. Well, that, that's what happens when you take an offensive line coach and make him a defensive we, coordinator. Yeah, yeah and, and all those leads the Eagles blew last year. Oh yeah, they, they're up ten with five minutes to go. And, and they can't hold the lead. All right, that's enough. Going with their own bye, so let's yeah. say goodbye to the Eagles for now. And yeah. let's see, if, can Detroit go in and take on the 4-1 Bears at Soldier Field and give them a game? Ditka. Without Ditka. Ditka. No Ditka. Uh, I don't know. I think the Lions, I think, the Lions have their somewhat of their groove. I, this is going to be this gonna be my mild upset of the week. Lions over the Bears. Mild upset. Mild upset. I, I think that you could say that, call that a true upset, you know. At home, Detroit with, with their pass rushers, they can also uh, yeah match it pretty good. And you know, Cutler doesn't like getting hit. Yeah, Chicago's he, offensive line is a little shaky. Yeah, I remember a couple weeks ago he, he blasted his old line. I'm wearing royal blue mugs. I'm going to agree with you on this never upset. Never a blue. Never a blue. Which we, we, we never agree on upsets. I, I, I'm going to yeah. I'm going to go. I'm going to say Cutler's going to get hit yeah. early, often. Yeah. And he's and gonna have some picks and fumbles. And I think Stafford will have enough. Yeah, and to yeah. Score some close game, there. close game. I think the Lions will pull it out just like they did last week. And I think the last couple of years they've split games one on one. I yeah. think this is the game Detroit takes. I like Detroit. Yeah. I don't see. I don't see, I don't, I don't see Detroit winning. Even though A. Rod is still sitting the bench and now Granderson sitting the bench, I still think Detroit loses. What sport do, do they play? Cricket. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Reaching out to the Euro market, they are. Right? But He's a moose. Yeah. He's the moose. And maybe we'll talk some World Series next time we do a show. Yeah. That, that, that's my what, version wait, of Wait, what World Series, World Series of Poker? Yeah, Phil Helm- Helma. No, Helmet. And it's like Connor goes doing a pee-pee dance over there. Yeah. That's I think that means it's, it's, it's I, think, I think we have Doctor, a wrap. I Thank think you. we'll keep you on for at least one, one more week. show. Yes. It was one week my show. honor, Your Honor. Thank you very much. This has been the sports report for Counter Girls Anniversary, October 18, 1997. Coming up after the break, Bert the Pawnee Dragon, Mad Mad and the Moose, and Eggbert with Eggisode 28 of the Egg Shaped Ball. Stay tuned, kids. We dream big.